Hey, so I recently bought a Honda Insight with a bad battery and decided to do some stick level work. I just have some quick tips on identifying some, some bad uh, sticks. Okay, first I'm going to read to you from the Holy Bible of Insights, uh, the InsightCentral.net. This is from a post from 2015. And what's important to remember is, is when you're getting into this, it's all been figured out by somebody. You just have to figure out how to find the information that's out there. So you don't have to reinvent the wheel by a user named SSER2. He says, I think there are a few misconceptions here regarding grid charging and discharging nickel metal hydride packs. Looking at a discharge plot, the nickel metal hydride cell is fully charged at 1.5 volts. Upon discharge, the voltage quickly drops to about 1.2, stays around there during most of the discharge. About 0.09 volt, the cell is almost fully discharged. If discharge continues, voltage drops precipitously. A nickel metal hydrate cell, but not a battery, as you will see further, can be safely discharged to zero volts and kept for a long time in this fully discharged state without degradation of capacity. However, if a current in the discharge direction continues through the cell after its voltage has dropped to zero, cell's polarity is reversed and this condition damages the cell by screwing its electrolyte. This is exactly what happens when a battery of dissimilar cells, i.e. a old tired IMA pack, is discharged to zero. Weaker cells drop to zero faster than stronger ones and stronger cells then push reversing current through the weaker ones damaging them. So the result is further damage to those cells that are already weak. As a ragtag battery with zero volts on its terminals is charged, stronger cells reach their full charge much faster than those whose polarity has been reversed. So as the weaker cells are catching up, the stronger ones are being punished by pushing current through them for a long time after they have been fully charged. After reading that, I started doing some investigation and I can demonstrate all of this. So what we have going on here is we have a power supply, we have a multimeter, and we have a 12 volt light, which I using as, as a discharge. So in this stick, one of the ones that I've identified, and I've marked a couple cells as bad, but it might have three bad now that I've been doing uh, this investigation. So, so first off, it's charging at one amp right now, and we can see, you know, the voltage is about 8.6. And so if you go through it cell by cell, by just piercing through the, uh, the heat shrink, you can see, okay, that, that one is at 1.3 uh, volts. This one's at 1.3 volts. This one's at 1.3 volts. This one's at 1 1.5. Uh-oh, why is that different? This one's at 1 1.3 volts. This one's at 1 1.5. Uh-oh, why is that different? So that means that, that, that two of these are charging dissimilar to the other four. And so to charge up two of them comes at the risk of the other four suffering, I assume. <laughs> or maybe it's vice versa. But now we're going to switch the experiment just slightly. We're going to take off the charge. And then we're going to start a discharge cycle. So with my 12 volt light, I'm going to hook up to it and you see it comes on. Now let's see what's happening to the batteries during the dis discharge cycle. So this one, 1.3 volts, looking good. This one, 1.3 volts, looking good. This one, 1 1.2 volts and dropping rapidly. That one is the third one I talked about that might be a problem. Now this one, Look at this. This one is almost depleted. It's down to uh, 0.3 volts. Now this one, 1.3 volts. It's looking good. So now from this view, we already can tell that maybe we have one more bad battery. So let's try this last cell. Where is it at? Uh-oh. Look at that. It's negative. It's doing that reverse polarity charging because it's so weak that discharging this stick is causing current to flow through it backwards. 
and so it's it's actually see the numbers increasing it is increasing its negative charge right now so the conclusion <laughs> might be that you know obviously some cells are just done and that that means that some sticks cannot be reconditioned and that means using a little charger like this hobby charger uh you just waste an entire day testing a stick and learn nothing from it because it'll probably shut off multiple times and be frustrating which i learned the hard way so so you know trust honda uh or insightcentral.net but read a bunch and see who uh who has more conclusions to make because that post from that guy just 100 percent shows what's happening to to this cell now what i've gone and done since uh, I'm going to do stick level maintenance, I've gone and I've ordered from, from Bumblebee Batteries a box of untested used core sticks. They say that tw you get 20 of them. They're untested. They're right out of, a, of someone else's bad battery pack. They, they do cut them open and they, they remove the, uh, the well, what's it called? The PTC strip. The PTC strip is, is part of the Insights... Uh, you know temperature monitoring monitoring when you're using the battery so so each one of these strips is like one ohm or something and so it, it, it checks to see how far the resistance of all these strips combined differs from one ohm to get an idea of if the battery's hot or not and so you will have to you know they they, they take the strips because they put new batteries in battery packs so when you get their batteries from them you need to remove your strips and heat shrink it on to whatever batteries you determine are good. So $200 for 20 batteries, 10 bucks a battery, plus shipping about 50 or 60 bucks for my state at least. So that's what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna go through my pack, figure out which sticks are functioning fairly well, get them charged, load test them, check the voltage, see if there's any bad cells in them. And then when these sticks come in, I'm gonna do the same for them and I'm going to pick my best 20 and build a pack out of the best 20 sticks out of the 40 sticks total that I'll have to work with. And I think that will give me a pretty good chance at doing this DIY battery pack build. So I just occurred to me I left the discharge on. Let's see how this one is coming. Ooh, look, we're almost to 0.8 negative volts. I bet this one is discharged now. Where's this one at? Nope. This one's only down to 0.1 positive. But you can see, trying to bring a battery pack just with a grid charger and discharging it blindly, you might cause more damage than good. You might be better just grid charging and not sucking it down too far. Maybe going to, I don't know, <laughs> 120 volts instead of zero. I don't know. There's, there's a lot to uh, consider here. But anyways, I hope, I hope that's useful to somebody. I have uh, another video that I'm, I'm working on that's just more about my, my pack in general and the condition of the car that I bought specifically and I found some hilarious issues with it. So this pack had gone to a mechanic for uh, you know a DIY eBay sell sort of refresh and the guy literally put seven sticks in backwards and that's why the car I bought had been parked since uh, 2017 was was because you know the owner had had invested some money and then it just failed and he's like this car is a money pit i'm just gonna let it sit for a while and it's because because the, the guy he hired an ase certified mechanic from from a local shop that that you know in the community we trust quite a bit installed the cells backwards literally backwards and that's supposed to, you know the the positive has a square shape and the negative has a hexagonal shape and the plate that covers these has corresponding shapes so this guy was just so reckless and careless that he he didn't he didn't even notice the shapes on the batteries for polarity and he just stuck them in however he felt and forced it in there you know drove all the bolts that hold it to the bus bars down as tight as he could like ridiculous so anyways now I hope that's halfway useful to somebody, and uh, y'all be good. Catch you next time.